hope you're all great. In today's video, I thought I would talk about my postpartum journey, uh, share with you how I'm feeling, um, show you what my body looks like after having a second baby, um, and tell you where I'm at at the minute. If you're interested in hearing about it, then please keep on watching. Right, so it has been 13 months since I had my second baby. She was born um, in February last year. And it's been harder getting back to my pre-pregnancy body than it has been with the first baby, I'm not going to lie. Um, after having my first child, it seemed like the weight just fell off and I was back in my pre-pregnancy genes two, three weeks after I had her. So going into the second pregnancy, I had the same expectations. I thought that once I um, had a baby, uh, I'll be able to wear my pre-pregnancy clothes really quickly. Um, however, that was not the case. It had definitely taken me much longer to get back into uh, or go back to my pre-pregnancy size. So just to give you um, a little bit of a, a background, um, I, I'm not big on exercising. I used to go to the gym when before I had my first baby and I went to the gym throughout the pregnancy. I did spin class um, all the way up till eight months, eight and a half months. That's when I um, went to my last spin class. Um, and it was great and then I had my baby and everything was great. And I didn't really have to do a lot to uh, go back to my pre-pregnancy body um, and then fast forward about three years um, I sort of well I'm going to be honest with you I let myself down a little bit I wasn't really looking after myself um, I was probably eating more than I should have and I put on weight and it was only when we had an invite to a wedding and I tried a wedding and there was a dress in my wardrobe that I hadn't worn and I really wanted to wear it to the wedding and I tried it on and it turned out that it was too small. I, I literally couldn't do up the zip um, and that was and that was definitely a wake up call for me. Um, I had in the back of my mind that I wanted to have a second baby quite soon. Um, and that was the moment where I decided that I'm going to start exercising again, start looking after myself, start eating uh, more healthy. Although my diet in general is really good. I don't eat very much sweets. I don't eat any processed food. I don't eat um, any fast food. We have a takeaway once every two weeks um, and I cook all our meals. So in general, I would say my diet is really good. However, um, I I definitely gained quite a lot of weight. So I started exercising, I joined the gym again, I started going to spin class um, and I tried some exercises at home, however that didn't go quite well so I just um, carried on with the gym. Um, I slimmed down so I was able to wear the dress that I wanted 
and and then the lockdown hit so um covid um came and um we had lockdown here in the uk um and i spoke to my husband and we decided that um, we really wanted to have a second baby so um, because of the covid we didn't really know what impact it would have on potential pregnancy so we delayed trying for uh, the second baby a couple of months until some reports came out to give me a peace of mind and some reassurance that um, covid is not dangerous uh, and it won't cause my unborn baby any harm so that was march of 2020 um, and at that time i knew that i had to get back into shape i knew that uh, my body is going to go through a lot of changes and I wanted to prepare my body as much as possible. Um, I was also scared that I would put a lot of weight on during pregnancy and that um, it will stay and I won't be able to shift it after the baby um, was born. So I decided to... Um, I decided to take up more exercises and I found a few YouTube channels, um, some free exercises from various people and I tried a few of them until I found the one that I really liked and that's, uh, some of you will probably know her channel, um, I highly recommend it um, and it's Chloe Ting. I found her summer shred challenge and I do it, st I still do it, I do it until now. I absolutely love that exercise. I know that some people will say you have to change the range of exercises because your body gets used to it. Um, and I tried to change it, I tried to go with different set of exercises, however, they just weren't right for me and I found that at least the summer shred challenge that Chloe Ting put on a YouTube really worked for me. I find that it's challenging, um, it's very challenging for me but I can go through the whole routine and it's 25 minutes which is the perfect timing. It's not too short, it's not too long I can fit that into my day, which is really important. And I used to do that. I used to do that exercise almost every day. Um, I was so focused on getting my body into the best shape possible that it was almost um, an obsession. Um, I will insert some pictures of what I look like um at my heaviest and then what i look like um at my best time just before i got pregnant or during the time um i felt pregnant so um just as a reference i'm five foot seven uh, I'm 175 centimeters and at that point when I fell pregnant uh, my weight was at 69 kilograms. Uh, I was size 12 um, and I looked good. Oh my god, I absolutely loved the way I looked. I loved the way my um, I loved the way my body looked, I loved having a little bit of a definition on my stomach, um, my legs were absolutely amazing, I had um, 
really nice muscles on my calves and um, I definitely lost a lot of fat and I could tell just by looking in the mirror um, that I was looking very lean um, and my idea was to carry on exercising um, during pregnancy um, however I suffered with bad morning sickness that lasted um, about six months um, so although I put every effort and I really tried um, to do some exercises during um, pregnancy I just couldn't I just I just felt so unwell every time I tried to do it um, I just felt sick um, and sadly I wasn't able to do as much as I um, would have hoped um, so I then tried to look uh, at my diet um, and anyone who's been pregnant knows that you go through ups and downs and you feel really hungry especially at the beginning when you're feeling sick and sometimes uh, you feel like putting food into your stomach is going to take that sickness feeling away so I did overindulge probably I also uh, found that I I craved a lot of sweet stuff um, which I not normally don't do um, so I allowed myself um, some cakes and, um, and some sweets and in effect I gained 20 kilograms so at the end of my pregnancy um, a few days before I had my baby um, on my last weighing um, during a midwife's appointment um, I my weight was at um, 89 kilograms which I can tell you guys it felt horrible I felt so heavy um, it, it was it, it was hard it really was hard it was hard looking at myself in the mirror because all I could see was double chin um, swollen feet big legs obviously I had a big tummy um one thing that I was extremely lucky with um was that I didn't get any stretch marks and I'm just I'm just so happy that um I didn't um but it was hard it, it really was hard um and then I had the baby it was a really quick and easy delivery um, and I was home 12 hours after I had her um, and everything was going great at the beginning um, I felt amazing uh, the baby was napping really well and the general recommendation is that you should wait six weeks before you start exercising because I felt really good in myself and I didn't I had a quick and easy delivery I wasn't really sore I wasn't in a lot of pain I, I felt like I recovered quite well and um, I decided to exercise um, and I did it two weeks after I had her um, and I'm gonna tell you guys that it was not a good idea at all and um, if any of you out there um, any girls who are currently pregnant and are in the same situation after you had a baby please wait at least six weeks check with your doctor whether um, it's okay to start exercises 
um, or just do some very mild ones. Uh, and I, I mean really mild ones. I, I, I thought that I'd be able to go and do my Chloe Ting routine straight away, which I did. I started doing that. It was extremely difficult. I felt very out of shape. I felt really heavy. Um, I could barely do the whole routine. Um, but most importantly, I could feel that my uterus didn't contract enough. So um, I made a mistake. I definitely shouldn't have started the exercising, the exercises so early. And I believe because of those, um, I suffered with um, diastasized recti, um, if I pronounce it correctly. Um, it's basically separation of your um, tummy muscles, stomach muscles, which happens to everyone in the pregnancy. Um, and uh, in most cases, the muscles then after you had a baby the muscles will um, go back to their original state however because I was I started exercising way too early and I started doing a lot of exercises that were actually pulling my stomach muscles away even further and um, it caused well but it basically caused the separation of my muscles um, and I noticed um, after a week, two weeks of exercises, that my tummy was looking worse. And with every exercise, it was just getting worse and worse. Um, and that's what, that's when I decided to stop. Um, I did some research on the internet. That's when I found out about diastasized recti. I wasn't aware of that um, before um, and that's when I decided that I have to let my body heal um, and that I'm doing actually more damage um, to my to my body and my muscles and it's it's not worth it. The very um, hard thing for me was the fact that I looked in the mirror and I saw myself not looking like myself. I didn't see what I saw um, before the pregnancy. I had quite a lot of fat around my tummy. Obviously, I had quite a big tummy because you do after you had a baby. Um, and I just felt very fat and unattractive. And that was one of the reasons why I started exercising so early because it was getting me down. It was really making me feel horrible. Um, however, please, please, I know, I know, I know it's hard and I know that we want to get back into our pre-pregnancy shape as soon as possible but as hard as it is to accept it we really need to let our bodies heal from nine months of carrying baby and then having the baby so one lesson that i definitely learned was just don't push yourself too hard and just accept it even though it's really 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 hard so after that I didn't do anything for um, quite a while um, I, I was doing a lot of research on the internet I was trying to get an appointment with my GP um, so that I could talk to them about um, about my muscles however it was during the pandemic and I couldn't get an appointment with the GP um, which I'm really 
sad about because I believe that um, it should be priority for GPs and health visitors to make sure that women are looked after because it's such a difficult period in their life. There's a lot of pressure. Um, you try to enjoy having the baby, but mentally you're drained, you're, you're not sleeping well. You look at yourself in the mirror and you don't recognize the person that's staring at you. You just want to be back to normal and it takes time um, and for that I'm, I'm really disappointed that the GP or the, 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 the uh, doctor's practice didn't really see me as a priority um, and I never saw a doctor really. Um, so I found a couple of exercises on YouTube um that uh, were supposed to uh, cure or help with diastasis recti so it's supposed to pull the muscles together and i started doing them um and i definitely saw uh, results i definitely saw a big difference in what my tummy looked like so i did those exercises for as long as i could. Uh, it was probably um, a month uh, of, not every day, um, I did them when, um, when I could, but I tried to do them at least every other day. Um, and, then, um, and then I went back to Chloe Ting Summer Shred Challenge and I was doing that um mentally it was it was hard because my body still didn't look the same um although i could wear my pre-pregnancy jeans or pre-pregnancy clothes they didn't fit very well i had the muffin top and everything just felt really tight um and the summer came and I just um, I just really didn't like the way I looked it made me quite un it made me feel really unhappy uh, I'm not going to lie I wouldn't say I was depressed um, but I definitely didn't like what I saw um, which in effect motivated me to carry on with the exercises um, and so I stuck with them and I'm going to share with you now what my body looks like um, and how far I've come um, I'm I definitely feel more comfortable um, in my uh, in my own appearance. Um, and I just I just want to keep up the exercises. It is difficult. I've gone back to work. Um, I was I've been back at work now for a month. And it is just so hard to find time, uh, especially that the little one still doesn't sleep through the night. She wakes up really early in the morning, so I can't wake up. I can't get up and exercise before she wakes up because she's usually awake at four or five o'clock. Um, so I try to make time on the weekends and my personal goal is to exercise if i can do twice or three times a week that's ideal three times a week then that should sort of keep my body in shape um and yeah i just wanted to say that um 
please remember that everybody's journey is different and some of you will find it really easy to get back to your shape whereas for um, a lot of a lot of you uh, it's going to be uh, much harder but please just be kind to yourself and I know and I know that it's a massive contradiction from um, what I've just said in my video because I wasn't kind to myself um, but I mean that's we understand that our bodies go through a lot of changes however they're still very hard to accept especially when you see yourself looking very different to how you did just a few months ago um yeah so i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions then please let me know in the comment um, box below um, i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video take care bye